Okay, welcome to part two of um, the text recognition Haskell project developed in data-driven design or top-down design. I've made some minor changes to uh, allow for testing, so I've added two imports, uh, um, has H unit and quick check. I've added uh, the, some derivations for show and equality here and I've added some tests at the bottom. So let's have a look at the tests. Everything else is exactly the same. If we look at the tests here then I've just set up the basic infrastructure so I've got possibility to define um, H-unit tests here and I have um, defined a quick check test here. So first I define a an arbitrary data instance for cord so that I can make random cords and then I say given two cords if I, if I subtract the same cord it's the origin and then there's one here where it says C1 minus, well, just testing whether some basic laws of arithmetic um, apply here. And then I've defined a function run tests. It basically runs the H unit tests and it runs the one quick check test. Okay, so if we actually run the test suite, then we can see the quick check test runs perfectly. And the test case is also, well, it's an empty test case right now. So, if we want to check for area widths, then we say area widths. Mm. Cord. Okay, let me define a couple of core of, of area things here. So we will define an area and we're gonna say Okay, I just saw that we made a bit of a mistake here. So let's fix that. This should be bottom right. Bottom right. And then we say the top left is chord. Let's say it's one two and p bottom right is chord five six. Okay, so I'm actually going to say so this is the result that's going to come out. So area width of the area we just defined is width 5 minus 1 is 4. Let's check whether this works out. Okay, one successful test. Okay, and then we're going to say... Area height area height is six minus two is also four. Let's make that seven, so that's five. And two successful tests. Perfect. 
in terms of top-down design we're pretty much we've pretty much reached the bottom so at some point we'll obviously split this into different modules um, but something like area equal um, we've now come to the bottom so we have to give pixel area a, a very definite type um, so we're going to look into the library that we're going to use um, very easy format to, to work with is the PGM format so we're going to use that and so there's a PGM library which I've already installed via Cabal and um, what it actually does is that I can read a uh, a PGM from file or from standard input and turn that into an array so so what we're going to use um, um, the, the actual pixel, pixel data is going to be in a unboxed array uh, or better to say is actually in the data type is an unboxed area two dimensional indexed by integers and it will contain an integer data type so if we go up to the pixel area then we left out this area here so we say pixels is URA int 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 okay so for the URA we're going to actually need a library this is actually the first library that we actively need because till now we've been completely in our self-defined types and functions so import data array unboxed as r and then we use that here um, to define our actual pixel data for the pixel area. This also means that we have to adapt the file, the, the, the test case down here. So for pixel area, this is where we actually um, do that. So let's define an empty area is list array zero 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 with an empty list well probably not gonna happen is it okay we're gonna give it a type actually we're gonna define the type up there Sorry for the confusion. A bit muddled right now. Okay, compiles and the test case is still run. Perfect. And now we're all set to implement our little area equal right here. Let's get the area ones to 
together. So basically we have two arrays um, with bounding boxes and we want to compare whether the, the content of those bounding boxes are equal. Okay. Let's see. So we have area one and area two. Um, so let's say width one, height one is area width Okay, so we need those width fields, and now I want to find the minimum width. So that is min width and min height is min of width 1 and width 2, min of height 1 and height 2. Okay, so basically this is the area that we can compare them about, we can't compare outside of the area, so this is the, the overlap of the two. Okay, so basically we have two arrays, we know which indices we want to compare, and now all we have to do is uh, generate a list of indices. Okay, so what we probably need here is a list comprehension that goes columns first and then so vertical first and then horizontal um, let's see tier 1 tier 2 is p top left area 1 top left area 2. This looks a bit, a bit verbose but I think it's perfectly fine. So we have indices 1 is p top left Actually, probably the easiest is going to add a plus function here. Then we have all the flexibility. Let me just add a test here. C minus uh, C one minus C two plus C two is C one and C one plus quad zero zero is also C one. tests. Okay, all tests passed. So basically what I need here is a list comprehension that gives me 